In this question, Saraswati bought an 8 gram gold chain for rupees 40,000. So we can presume that 1 gram is 5,000 rupees on 1st November. And after 10 months, that is August 2021, she sold the chain and bought a new 10 gram gold chain by paying an additional 10,000 rupees. Suppose the rate of the gold per gram is denoted by G of T and uh, it's a function of time. G of T is given to be this cubic polynomial here and we are taking T is to be 0 at the time when Saraswati bought her first gold, gold chain. So T is a number of months since her buying her first gold chain. Now, what is the, and uh, G of T is a polynomial of the rate for both used and new gold. So, all gold has the same rate is what we are considering. And what is the rate of gold per gram when she sold her first chain? So, after 10 months at, at T is equal to 10 is what we are really looking for. So, that means we are looking for G of 10 and that gives us 0 0.07 into 1000 minus 1 1.4 into 100 plus 7 into 10 plus 5. And this is 70 minus 140 plus 70 plus 5. So that is actually 5. So the rate is back to 5000 per gram. So it's again rupees 5000 per gram. Now if she had sold the first gold chain after 6 months, how much extra would she have paid for buying the 10 grams gold chain? So after 6 months we have to find the price, the rate. So that would be G of 6 and that is 0 0.07 into 6 cube is 216 minus 1.4 into 36 plus 7 into 6 plus 5 and then we get this is 15.12 minus 1.4 times 36 is 50.4 plus 42 plus 5 which is equal to 42 plus 5 is 47 plus 15.12 would give us 62.12 that is 62.12 minus 50.4 and that is equal to 11.72. That would give us then the rate is 11,720 rupee per gram. And Saraswati is selling 8 grams at this price. That would mean she basically has to pay for the additional 2 gram. And that would be 2 into 1120 which is equal to rupees 23,440. This is how much she pays extra for her 10 gram gold chain.